hey do you know what is the most important point in pinterest marketing no it is not pinterest seo rather it is understanding pinterest algorithm because guys think about this if you know how this whole pinterest algorithm works you can actually use the pinterest algorithm to promote your pinterest account and you get results really really fast so in this video i'll be explaining you all the details related to pinterest algorithm and how you can use it effectively so that you can get fast results let's get started hey guys i am mukesh from earning insight guys did you ever notice that pinterest only shows pins to you which is relevant to your interest area but it also shows pins to you from the people whom you are not following now guys that is because pinterest algorithm is so smart that it recommends only the content to you which is relevant to you now to understand this whole concept i'll take you through a three step process which you need to understand first before starting to use it now let me take you to my laptop screen right now where i'll be showing you all the details let's get started all right guys so i'm in my laptop screen right now where i'll be showing you all the de details related to pinterest algorithm based on my experience so guys first let us understand why should you use pinterest other than other platforms so guys the first important aspect that you have to look into is 40 percent pinners in us have a household income of more than 100,000. what that tells you guys is that the people who use pinterest have money power to buy something and you have to understand one thing that if you are doing a video or if you are promoting any article what you want is people have to buy something because then only you can earn money as a commission or you can sell your product so you want people to buy it and pinterest is a very good platform to buy something because the first thing us people use it it is a basically us dominated platform and the second important thing is the people who use it have more than 100,000 monthly household income what that means is they can they have that extra money to spend on uh, pinterest so guys let us look at some of the other details of pinterest which is very very critical now guys the second thing is 87 percent of pinners use pinterest to buy something use pinterest this is as per a study so uh, if you're promoting any um, product in pinterest the chances are really high that people will buy it from you guys the next important thing is that 52 percent of pinterest users spend more than 500 dollars within six months in beauty products so uh, if you're following me for some time then you know that uh, pinterest is a female dominated platform and uh, that is the reason actually mm, there are around 52 percent users pinterest users actually spend this much money in beauty product because uh, there are by and large most female females use this platform so it is a very good opportunity for you if you want to uh, create or if you want to promote any beauty product or any recipe products so guys the next very very important thing is that 83 percent of women in us use pinterest with an age bracket of 25 to 54 so what that means is uh, during this age bracket people have money and also have the sense to uh, spend on something so people have the independency to spend on something and that is what you want as a content creator guys now let me tell you what this pinterest algorithm is all about what what we call this pinterest algorithm is now pinterest uses a machine learning algorithm to understand you and your content and then it shows your pin to others as well as it shows others pin to you based on what it learns about you so what is very very important is you give the right information about yourself to pinterest algorithm then only pinterest algorithm will understand the correct details about you and then it either promotes your pins if you are a content creator or promotes other spin to you based on the information that you are having so it is very very important that you give the right indication to Pinterest what your niche is uh, all about or what your interest area is all about so if you are a person that likes recipes different recipes then you have to make sure you include the keyword recipes in your profile name description boards pins everywhere so that Pinterest has a clear indication of what your uh, profile is all about then it shows either your content to other people or other content uh, to you uh, your home page because it know what your particular interest area is all about so this is what this is how pinterest algorithm works 
it collects data about you from the keywords that you use and then shows the most relevant um, pins to you based on the data that it has so guys now let me take you to the next point which is very very important that why is Pinterest algorithm so important why it is extremely important guys now uh, if you are using Facebook I know a lot of you are uh, using Facebook so if you use Facebook then you must have noticed that how Facebook works is if you follow someone and uh, if you're liking post of someone then Facebook will show you the post of this that particular people then because Facebook knows that you are a friend of that person and then there is a high chance that you engage with that post but the important point is guys Pinterest algorithm don't work that way the major reason is that Pinterest public come to Pinterest not to you know follow someone they uh, most people come to Pinterest to discover new ideas so what that basically does is Pinterest will suggest to you pins in your home feed not only based on the people you follow but um, but based on different uh, other factors as well which we will be discussing later in this video so guys Pinterest algorithm basically works in basically two aspects it has act as a good search engine and also it act as a good social media so what you have to understand is guys if you're using Pinterest then you search for any of the query and then it will show you some good results now the, the now this particular aspect is very important if you're targeting to list your pins on the top if uh, the if someone uh, is searching for any query for example if someone is searching for the keto recipes you want your pins to rank high in the keto recipe and now the question is how the hell you do it now to do this um, i already created a video on this uh, i'll keep a link uh, in the description as well as the i button you can just go and check out uh, now this video will explain you how you can optimize your video or content so, or pin so that it can uh, the chances are more than it will show to the concerned person whoever is searching for any particular query so pinterest algorithm actually understand what you are searching for gives the most uh, relevant content on the top gives the most relevant pin on the top and then people click on it click on it and then go to your particular article and to do this i already created a video on it you can just go ahead and check it out now guys the next important thing is smart feed now if you don't know what a smart feed is smart feed is nothing but if you open the pinterest app you can have um, uh, a lot of pin which already interest show you based on your past experience based on the last searches that you have based on your interest area so the if there is any pin which is showing on your home feed without searching anything the chances are that you if you like the pin you'll click on the pin and then you'll go to the website or the product page so it is very very important that your pins actually shows up in other people's smart feed so this is very very important guys because then people are not actually searching anything people are uh, by, um, just scrolling down and then they are seeing your pin and then if they like it then the chances are that they land up in your site so these are basically the two ways how pinterest algorithm work one is the search result interface and the other is smart feed interface now the smart feed interface is very important and uh, if you want your pins to show in the smart feed interface of other people's then you have to learn the FTF strategy which I will be showing you in this video later. So guys now let me take you to the next point and this is all about um, you know smart feed as well as the search result interface that I already explained to you. By the way Pinterest is both a, a search engine as well as social media and as per my experience actually people used uh, uh, Pinterest to uh, as a search engine more than a social media platform that is what I think uh, do let me know if you have any more suggestion uh, about the same so guys the next important thing is about the FPF way so um, if you see the Pinterest dashboard wait I'll just show you so this is basically a Pinterest dashboard now in this dashboard there are a lot of pins you can see yeah so now these particular pins are showed to me without searching anything so if you are a content creator guys your particular purpose should be to rank your pins in other people's home feed so that uh, they don't have to search for your 
particular pins and they can directly see your home feeds that should be your goal now this is something which is called a small uh, smart feed if you open your pin test app also you can see the smart feed now the question is guys how these pins actually displayed in your smart feed that is the million dollar question because if you know that thing then you can actually work to promote your pins in other people's smart feed without people in actually searching for this that is what i call the fpf way now guys pinterest decide uh, which pins they want to show in other people's dashboard based on basically three, three criteria the first criteria is followers pool so if you're using pinterest then you know that there are a lot of people who you who you know people follow so if you if you like recipes if you like cooking then you are most likely to follow someone who create content about cooking so uh, then you must be having a list of followers also because if you create recipes then um, maybe just example maybe around 1000 or more than 1000 people are following you and then when you publish a new pin pinterest actually show your pins to these followers to your followers and then judge what is the click through rate how many people are actually clicking on this particular pin and it is very very important that people click on your pin then only pinterest identify is as oh this pin is really good pin let us show this pin to other users as well and then basically it promotes that pin so it is very important guys that the people who are following you are the people who are actually interested in your particular niche so it is not actually good if uh, someone who is following you just uh, but he's not actually interested in your content a people a lot of people actually do it like uh, you know, follow to follow kind of mechanism if i follow then you follow but i really don't like that thing because then uh, pinterest will show your pins to other users and they, if they're not clicking on that article then this will be a negative point in your particular respect so guys the next important thing is that about the popular pins on on your interest area so uh, coming back to the same question if you you have that particular recipe uh, dashboard how will you publish your recipe pins in other people's smart feed so if you have some pins which are really popular on pinterest then pinterest is more likely to promote your pins to the people who are really interested in this particular pin so what that means is if your pins are getting popular then the chances are high that it will pro that it will promote your pins to more and more users and more and more users will see it in their home feed so guys the third way by which pinterest will show your pins to others uh, smart feed is actually the fresh pins so if so consider if you publish a new fresh pin and your followers like it then pinterest is more um, uh, recommending um, pinterest will is more likely to you know promote that pin to other people who are not actually following you because pinterest will understand that okay the this particular pin people are liking so let us show it to other people who have the same interest area so this is how the pinterest algorithm basically work to promote your pins and um, now the important thing is that it will take into consideration of all these things and then it will uh, create the pins in the other people's dashboard and then people will actually see this so uh, even if you have a very less followers pool guys it doesn't matter it is unlike uh, you know instagram or facebook that you need a very very high amount of followers to promote something it is not like that uh, even if you have a very less followers and you create uh, right quality pins and you use other pinterest algorithm tools correctly you can actually reach a lot of people and you can make your pins viral so guys the next important thing is how will actually pinterest algorithm understand that your pins are of good quality or how actually it recommends your pins so guys for that um i'll be showing you all the four aspects those are important i call it the pdpr strategy i'll be showing you all the details in my next video because uh, otherwise this video will be very very lengthy i don't want that so guys uh, uh, until then uh, just make sure to join our facebook group start doing pinterest and let me know if you have any question i'll try to help you guys on those things i'll see you in my next video guys until then bye bye keep learning keep learning